Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. Today I wanted to show you a Nagaimo yam. This is a cultivar of the Chinese yam. So I originally purchased this uh, set here and it looks pretty bad but uh, yam roots are fairly hardy so you can see it's got some sprouts that are forming. I left it out on the counter for a couple of weeks. So it's still alive. I'm going to pot this up. So we've got plenty of, at least half a dozen good sprouts on here. But then I went to my Asian uh, market and they had some produce and this is actually a, a full tuber of a Nagaimo yam. So you can see that they're easier um, to dig because they don't, um, <clears throat> they're not as thin and they, they're not as long as the regular Chinese yam. So if you've ever seen those for sale, they can get to be about three feet long and that's what makes them very difficult to dig up. So, but this cultivar is, uh, it doesn't go as deep into the ground when it grows, and so it's easier to dig up. Now this is a male cultivar, so it will, uh, I mean, I've already got a bunch of male seedlings and vines that I sprouted, so, but this is the, uh, second, um, I guess, uh, cultivated variety that I'll have. So the other one being the uh, ginkgo leaf yam, which was female. So I'll pot this up and see how it does. I expect it to, to do fine. I haven't had any problems with them here, but sometimes you get varieties that are, uh, you know, adapted to a little more warmer climates. So so if you uh, find any of these in your Asian grocery store, you can just cut these up and uh, let them heal over and sprout and plant them yourself. So the Gaimo Yam, Plant Assassin, if you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.